Dear number crunchers, I wish I could multiply a fraction by a whole number. Could you guide me in the right direction, please? Many thanks. Karis, from North Wales. Let's start with one third multiplied by five. And to help me out, I'm going to draw this bar and I'm going to split it into three equal parts. So each of those parts is worth one third. But I want to multiply by five. So I need to draw another bar and I'm going to split that into thirds. You can see from the picture that in total, when you have five lots of a third, well, that's five thirds. So one third multiplied by five is equal to five thirds, or as a mixed number, one whole and two thirds. Let's take a look at two thirds multiplied by five. And what you can see is happening is I'm starting to add on two thirds, two thirds, I'm gonna keep going until I've done that five times. Two thirds multiplied by five gives me a total of 10 thirds, or if you like, three wholes and one third. Let's take a look at a few examples without the pictures. So two thirds multiplied by five is 10 thirds. Four fifths multiplied by two is eight fifths. Three multiplied by an eighth is three eighths. And seven multiplied by two thirteenths is 14 thirteenths. What's going on here? Well, if you look closely, when you multiply a fraction by an integer, you multiply the numerator by the integer and the denominator just stays the same. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Three quarters multiplied by six. Well, three multiplied by six is 18, so my numerator will be 18. And we're working in quarters, so it's 18 quarters. Seven tenths multiplied by four equals 28 tenths, because seven multiplied by four is 28, and we're working in tenths. Two multiplied by four ninths is eight ninths, because two multiplied by four is eight, and we're working in ninths. And seven multiplied by a seventh, well, seven times one is seven, so seven sevenths is just the same as one whole. Okay, hope that helps. Good luck.